Statins are a highly successful class of drugs that lower your blood cholesterol. There's a, a number of them on the market. Common ones are called atorvastatin, simvastatin, rosuvastatin. They've all got the statin name to them. They're a very successful class of drugs that uh, we've really enjoyed using to reduce stroke risk in, in the last 10 years or so. If you've had a stroke, most people should be on a statin. Statins are best for the sort of stroke that's been due to a blood clot, sometimes called a, a thrombotic stroke or an ischemic stroke. They've also got the additional advantage that statins are very effective at reducing your risk of a heart attack as well, which is a very similar mechanism to a stroke. If you've never had a stroke in the past or never had a heart attack, there are still certain people who would really benefit from a statin. If your doctor thinks that for whatever reason that your risks of a stroke are higher in the next few years than average, then often a statin would be recommended. If you've had a previous stroke and you stop taking your statin, you will be at a higher risk of having another stroke in the future. So if, if a statin has been recommended, we really recommend you take them regularly. It, it's not a course of treatment, it's a, it's a treatment that you take for many months, in, in fact years for most people. Statins are actually some of the safest medications we have around. There are side effects and they're well recognised. The more serious and very rare side effect is if you, can get, if you get muscle aches with these tablets. And some people find that they, they do have a bit of a muscle ache which is clearly due to the statin. If that's the case you need to report that side effect to your doctor and sometimes a different statin will work and there are alternatives to statins if you have trouble with side effects. There are some other side effects that can include affecting the liver and like all tablets you can get an occasional allergic reaction. But overall statins are very very safe and they've been used in literally hundreds of millions of people so we know an awful lot about statins. The recent episodes of Catalyst, which talked about statins and fat in the diet, I think have resulted in a lot of confusion because it's raised questions in people's minds whether these tablets, statins, are effective for people, for example, who've had a stroke. I think it's important to note that the experts on Catalyst were not people who have looked at the evidence, I think, from a medical point of view. We have very good guidelines in Australia and these guidelines have been based on the very best evidence and have been reviewed by the very best experts and there's absolutely no doubt that statins are effective in reducing your risk of stroke if you've had an ischemic stroke or a thrombotic stroke. If you're worried about your medication, please go and see your family doctor or your specialist who started you on the treatment. We prescribe tablets to help prevent future events and we really don't want you to stop taking recommended tablets on the basis of a television program. We'd rather you get ex expert advice from your specialist or your doctor. We recommend you take a diet low in saturated fats if you've had a stroke or if you're at risk of a stroke. We've got very good evidence that low-fat diets are are helpful in preventing future vascular events and in fact we've got good evidence now that the so-called Mediterranean diet is probably one of the best and that's really a diet with lots of fresh vegetables not so much dairy not so much red meat lots of nuts olive oil this is the sort of diet which has been seen to be very healthy so we still recommend a low saturated fat diet in terms of sugar well, that's perhaps a different story. Lots of sugar in your diet can make you fat, and being fat is not a good idea if, if you've had a stroke or at risk of stroke. So we would recommend that you don't take lots of sugary drinks in your diet, as that really is a source of calorie that most of us can avoid.